we are at Ashley's house today and we have a really fun project for y'all. So not too long ago, I built my daughter a corbel light and I used a hurricane upside down to create a shade to save money. It is so dang cute. In fact, I loved it so much that I used the idea and made some island lights for my kitchen out of baskets, which gave me the bright idea to use a larger basket and replace the chandelier in her room. So we were like, we should show them how simple this project is and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna show you how to build this DIY basket chandelier. There you go. So let's talk supplies. What do they need for this project? Well, we're gonna need a set of nippers, a crimper for the electrical wires, a cord that you can hardwire, a drill, and a jigsaw. That's it, that's it. Nice. And a basket. Right, speaking of baskets. All right, that's gonna be your next step. You wanna find your basket. We found our basket at Hobby Lobby. We used a 40% off coupon and we were able to snag it for $29, so that's most of the cost of this project. And one of the great things about this basket, and actually I found several different stores that were like this, is that it has a good solid wood base and that's better than like a basket bottom for this specific project because we're gonna be cutting out of it. So this one also has super cute handles, which are great for a basket, but maybe not a pendant lamp. So let's go ahead and get those cut off. All right, so I'm gonna give it a little snip with my nippers. You're good with your nippers. <laughs> They're sniffing Four. Out. <laughs> Do the other side. Four. Perfect. And y'all can see here that now we have a basket. I'm going to take these off too. Oh, I didn't even take those off. Well, I was too scared to. I was afraid it would mess something up. It came right off, so smarty pants. I'm just going to I'm going to nip that right here, nip it in the bud. Done. So these aren't actually glued. They're just woven into the basket, so they come off super easy. It would look fine if they were there still, but why not? Basket, no longer, we have a chandelier. There you go, almost. Next step is we have to be able to put this part of the bulb into this chandelier, and this is key that you have a cord like this. This one has an attachment that screws on. This part right here, we're gonna need to go through a hole in the bottom of the basket, and then this piece right here is going to go underneath and screw in, and it's gonna clamp this in place. Now, that's why it's important to have this wood base on the basket. But I am just going to trace a circle around this, and I'm gonna use my jigsaw to cut the circle out. Hole in one. Now we're taking it outside and we're gonna cut a circle with our jigsaw. First we're using our Forstner bit and we're drilling a hole into the center of that circle. Now we're using our jigsaw to cut the full circle out. And that's a great tip. If you're cutting the center out of a piece, you wanna make sure that you drill a pilot hole that's big enough for that jigsaw blade to fit inside of. So we just got the hole drilled in the basket and now is when we are going to want to just make sure that this fits nice and snug. Oh yeah. yeah. Cut it. Now you guys you are going to see, Ash, I'm going to shady Kim so you can show this. Okay. We are going to show you all how this attaches, but we're not actually going to attach it until we get it all fixed upstairs. So if your cut is not perfectly circular, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it anyway. It'll hide it and then show them how it hangs up. Hold it up. And that's where it's going to hang from the ceiling. Now, let's go do the fun part. Such a bright idea. You're so funny. All right, we've got our hole cut. We've made sure that our light does, in fact, fit inside that circle. Great cut, Ash. Now we're going to take it upstairs and get this thing wired. This is not a tutorial for how to hardwire a light. We're doing it ourselves. If you're not comfortable with it, you need to hire that out or watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> Number one, we are turning off the breaker. That way we don't get zapped. And I'm hanging the bracket first. Okay, so we've got our bracket right here. We've got the ground wire, we've got the black, we've got the white, the black, the white, and you're gonna connect black to black, white to white with the little twisties. Wire nuts. <laughs> twisties. And now ground to ground. And I'm gonna tuck those guys back up in there. And now we're going to attach this. So fun, guys. You're going to love this video so much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Despite what this looked like, it was actually not difficult. I just don't like working above my head. I know. It's like an arm workout. When yeah. you don't work out, it's rough. 
Be sore tomorrow. Righty tighty, I'm going right. Whitney should have been doing this. <laughs> also, I smell. I'm glad this isn't smell-o-vision. Okay, <laughs> smell tube. All right guys, we have our new cord hanging and now I'm gonna go ahead and get the basket hung. Keep in mind, you may not have a spot in your ceiling to hang one of these, but these also make really cute lamps. There's so many ways to make these shades. It's so fun. So I am going to ask Ashley where the little piece is. Enter piece. Blank am I am. And then I put the inside, like we showed y'all earlier, the inside of that bulb socket in there. And I'm using the other end that will tie on tight. You want it nice and tight? That's so good. That's right. Now, the real, the real moment of truth will be if the light turns on. So give me a bulb, and let's go turn the breaker back on. All right, let's find a bulb. Yes. Yeah! Looks like a light bulb to me. It sure does. So it really is that simple. And I love how it turned out in her room. It's so pretty. I loved the chandelier before, but this is much more like bohemian style, a little bit modern. And I love that it was a $29 basket because if I tried to find a chandelier like this anywhere, I know for a fact, because I looked for it, I was gonna spend over $100. And this is really gonna make your head spin. Now you're gonna be thinking, what can I turn into a shade? Like everywhere, challenge. everything I look at. Challenge yeah. is on. Shiny shade. We want to see them. So y'all be sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss another video. And, and make sure that if you build any of our projects that you use hashtag Shandy to Chic on social media so we can share them too. Happy building. Happy Shandy Chandel Happy Shanty Chandeliering. Have a bright day. <laughs> okay, where's, oh, are there any of the volleys? Go up there, stupid. Just like Ignore that. Ignore that. Now we're taking it outside and we're gonna drill I'm sorry, I was fighting burp. like a she burp. She was burping. Okay. Burp. Ashley doesn't know how to burp though. There's a Shani secret for you. She's right. <laughs> All right.